substitution effect Hicks and Slutsky a comparison. Please view my earlier videos on substitution effect Hicks version, substitution effect Slutsky version first. The links are given in the description. We shall discuss the current topic under four heads. 1. Similarities 2. Differences 3. Superiority of Hicksian method and 4. Superiority of Slutsky method. We shall start with the similarities. 1. When there is a fall in the price of good X, the consumer buys more of good X. This is because of two effects. They are substitution effect and income effect. Of these two effects, it is substitution effect which is mainly held responsible for the downward sloping of the demand curve. Both the economists strongly believe in the important role played by substitution effect in deducing a valid demand theory. 2. Both the economists adopted the same technique. They deduct income effect from the price effect to obtain the substitution effect. Similarity ends here. Differences 1. They differ regarding the amount of income to be reduced. Hicks prefers compensating variation in income. Sledsky suggests to reduce the income by cost difference. 2. After income is reduced following Hicks technique, the consumer goes back to his original indifference curve. After income is reduced by cost difference, consumer goes back to his original equilibrium position. 3. Hicksian substitution effect takes place on the same indifference curve. Slutsky's substitution effect takes place along the same price line. Well, we shall see the superiority of Hicksian method. In this method, the consumer is fully compensated. He is back to enjoy the original utility level. The entire increase in utility is wiped away. He moves to a new equilibrium on the same indifference curve. The entire increase in utility is not fully wiped away in Slutsky's method. After a reduction in income, he moves to a higher indifference curve. Now, the superiority of Slutsky method. On the basis of market information, we can calculate the income to be reduced exactly and accurately under Slutsky's method. This is not possible in Hicks method. It requires a prior knowledge about consumer's indifference curve, which in turn depends upon the taste and preference of the consumer. In this regard, Slutsky's method is superior to Hicksian method. Our discussion ends here. Meet you all again with more lessons on ICM.